it's your boy Matt Doe and I'm here today to talk to you about five things that I consider are work from home essentials. Well, working from home has always kind of been an up and coming trend in the past few years, but with everything going on right now, what was once a trend has now become the norm and guideline in the interest of public safety. I've been working from home on and off for the last two years or so, uh, but recently I've joined a company that is now 100% remote and now I get to work from home every day. So here are the top five things that I consider work from home essentials for a productive setup and environment. And I also want to clarify that the brands that I'm about to list in this video, none of them have sponsored me, none of them sent me any of their stuff. Uh, everything was bought with my own time, with my own dime. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right into it. Number one, a desk, but not just any desk. If you can afford a sit stand desk, then that would be ideal. Uh, now, sit-stand desks can be more on the expensive side, but the benefits that they provide to ergonomics and healthy posture are just so much worth investing in my opinion. The ideal sit-stand ratio is about 45 minutes sitting, 15 minutes standing. Uh, I do have a portable desk laptop for my bed, but personally it gets uncomfortable for me after an extended period of time since I'm not really able to stretch out my legs and sitting crisscross just usually makes my feet fall asleep. If you do decide to get a sit-stand desk, then be sure to get a standing mat for your feet uh, as well as for added cushion because, you know, if you have hardwood floors, then it might hurt over time. The desk I have is the 72 by 30 Jarvis Bamboo Sit-Stand by Fully. I went with Fully because their products are very high quality and their customer service is even higher quality. Also, both Fully and myself are based out of the Pacific Northwest, so it just felt nice to support a local business, especially during these times. Number two, office chair. Honestly, this might be even more important than your desk. Uh, other than your mattress, you're gonna be spending hours per day sitting on your chair, so it makes sense to invest a bit more into this. Um, my back tends to bend a bit when sitting, so I wanted one with lumbar support, and there are times when I like to lean back a bit, so a headrest was pretty cool as well. I initially wanted the IKEA Marcus chair, but as of right now, all of IKEA stores are closed and picking up at the store is just unfortunately unavailable in my area. I could get it delivered, but their delivery fee was $50, which is just crazy to me. So I went with the Staples Hiken and honestly, I'm pretty pleased with it. It has a breathable mesh material that's comfy, adjustable armrest, lumbar support, and a headrest. Everything I was looking for in a chair. It's even cheaper than the IKEA Marcus as well. Number three, notebook. Now whether you prefer a physical notebook or a digital task management application, you need something to organize your errands, to-dos, and projects. Personally, I love using a physical notebook uh, for my to-do list just because the act of writing it down reinforces it in my head and crossing it out physically is just that much more satisfying and gives me a feeling of accomplishment. When it comes to organizing projects, resources, and documents however, I like to use a project management application like Notion. Notion allows me to organize everything in a very cohesive layout and style, and there's just so many things you can do with it. Uh, I use it for tracking projects, writing down goals, and more recently, YouTube scripts. But others like Thomas Frank and Ali Abdal have some insane templates for their Notion, so I'll link their YouTube channels down below so you can check them out. Number four, noise canceling headphones. Now, unless you have an entire room or house to yourself, you're gonna need something to block out any noise and distractions that come up during the day. While there are now noise canceling earbuds that are great for going mobile or just not ruining your hair, I still prefer over the ear noise canceling headphones to truly block out my surroundings. Uh, once I find a good mix or playlist to listen to and put on my headphones, uh, I'll be in the productive zone and enter what's called a state of flow. The noise canceling headphones that I have are the Sony WH-1000MX3s. I love these headphones for their noise canceling, fast charging, and sleek design. However, they do not support connecting to two devices at once, like the Bose QuietComfort Mark II 35s, and are slightly less comfortable than the Bose after extended periods of time, in my opinion. Number five, fast and reliable internet. This one is a no-brainer, but you'd be surprised how easily it can be overlooked until you actually need it. Uh, your internet may be fast enough to browse the web and stream Netflix, but can it handle a whole video meeting of colleagues or a virtual happy hour with friends after work? With social distancing going on for the next several weeks, people need high-speed internet to stay entertained, motivated, but most of all, productive. A good way to test your internet is to hop on speedtest.net, and if it shows at least 25 megabytes per second down, meaning download speed, then you should be okay. 
45 megabytes per second is ideal and anything after that is just icing on the top. Another way I like to test the internet speed is by hopping on over to youtube.com and putting in a ultra 4K HD video and seeing if it loads quickly. Being able to skip to any point in the video as well uh, is another indication of uh, really fast internet uh, because 4K content demands high speeds of internet to process so if it can do all of that then uh, you should be good to go. I hope you found this video helpful and let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Before I sign off though, I'd also love to hear your thoughts on working from home and some things you consider are work from home essentials. Also a quick note, I want to take this time to truly thank all the heroes working in healthcare, grocery stores, packaging and shipping, and even the janitors keeping all these facilities clean. These people are out in the front lines exposing themselves to the pandemic every single day and risking their lives for us so they don't get to work from home like we do. Uh, working from home is a privilege, not a right, and should never be taken for granted nor abused. So if you're able to do your part in contributing to your community or health, health centers, I highly recommend you do so. And if you have the privilege to work from home, then consider it a luxury. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Peace. Take one. Take two. That's your recording? Yeah. Okay. Yo, it's your boy Matt Doe, and I'm here to... to uh, Wait, just, just let it roll, just let it roll. Take two.